Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we seen how to create a new React Native with Type Kit project. Then we learn how we can configure or install Firebase library with this project. And we link this uh, application, this project with the React Native with the TypeScript application now we are going to learn how we can install this authentication library in this react native application for that we have to scroll down and we click on authentication and uses here we have to click now we have to apply this you see we have yarn add react native app app is already installed in the previous here we have to use authentication library so we have here yarn so in place of yarn i will use my npm so i close this right now because we have to close this application for installation i paste it and in place of this add an yarn i will replace my npm command so i say here npm install and i say save like this press enter so it will install this authentication library in my project then we have to follow next steps so next steps is what you see we scroll down here and we have this function auth state change this type of function this library we have so we have to design our application with this template so remember that after installing this library we have to scroll down and we have this predefined template for authentication configuration or setup already i have installed this library so in the auth directory remember this this is auth1 so here i have to change this auth folder according to this so we have app here remember this we have app here on change here on effect here so everything we have so one by one i try to do this so first of all i copy this auth library that is required so i copy in my application so i paste here one thing that is required now second step i need to copy these two variables that is for checking the active user or not so here i copy paste this and i need to use uh, use state also so i use use state here library or just my hook so done this now i have to initialize because this is typescript so here i need to uh, change the boolean also because it's a data type for this user state i need data type so in place of authentication i need one more thing i say firebase auth type remember that this step is not mentioned here online this is not mentioned online because it's for only for react native not react native with typescript so i'm changing it right now in place in front of you so here i have to pass a firebase authentication type dot user this user i have to pass here this is required so i save this you see done this here and these two are declared but not using we will use it now we go ahead and here they are saying this function we have to use but i am not using this function first of all i am using a uh, use effect so i use uh, i call use effect and try to initialize the my project so for that uh, uh, i say here use effect hook i say use effect because on the running time it will run so here in this function I need two parameter one parameter is my arrow function like this and second is the condition on which it will refresh and here I use my auth library auth1 this function dot and here I say uh, we have the this function on auth state change remember that this we have to use so I say here on auth state change here, here we will see the active user in this function what we have we have a, uh, and we can say active user active user like this way and here we will have 
the configuration which is uh, required here this one uh, this uh, this coding we need uh, the user will have we need this coding so I just paste this coding here and this is the user remember that this active user we have user here so I say active user I just pass this active user here like this way active user and we have null also so I can pass here null also because it's having null value also generating error so I say here null at the beginning or we can avoid this no need of this by default is null now we have uh, this condition so I need to provide the proper condition for this and I save this you see so we have this one also remember so auth we are checking that if there is active user active user then set this active user here and if there is active user then initialization is false otherwise initialization is true by default now uh, we have to go ahead in this coding and uh, we have to return these thing so I copy this remember I copy this and uh, I remove this return statement it is not required right now we require this as a condition like this two way if user remember if user is not initialized then go to login or registration screen if user is already login then display the email ID so here also I need to make it more configurable it's showing some problem so I save this so there is no condition at all here for this so I'm making it empty so we have an initialization here this on the basis of this variable so we can provide initialization variable also if it is required we can pass like this also so if this value change so it can execute we can do like this also otherwise we can remove no problem at all now you see this is a setup as per the requirement of this application and we need to go there it is showing some problem because we have to start it again so you see login is ready here if we are not successfully login and no user is active then it will show login screen otherwise it will show this screen so this is dummy right now but i will replace these two with my components registrations and login and my welcome screen for that i create uh, uh, first of all i execute this application to show you that it is working right now so i start it once again you see that login is display here so this screen is coming why because this is the first time we are executing there is no registration and login is available in this application that's why by conditionally we have transferred to the login screen so here we have set up the firebase authentication in our project this is my second video on it in the next video we will learn how to uh, transfer this to the registration screen if user is coming first time and if it is already login it register already registered on firebase then it can log in so we can transfer to login screen also so in the next video we will see the registration steps then we will see uh, the sign out and then we see login and we will see the welcome also if the user is already logged in so these all things we will see in the next videos so in this video i explain you remember that in this video i explain you the next step the installation of authentication library and set up that library with your project if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video mm -hmm.